بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ آل آف یو آر فائن ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ یونٹ نمبر ون لیکچر نمبر ٹو دا ٹاپک از برین اینڈ اٹس پارٹس بفور آئی ڈسکس دا ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک I share some previous knowledge. Students, in previous lecture, if you remember, we learned that how the brain work as a control center and how it helps in sending the messages. We also learned that the nerves in the body receive signals from the sense organs and take messages to the brain. The brain and the nerves forms the nervous system. We also study the physical appearance of the brain. It looks like a large pinkish gray walnut but it is much bigger than a walnut. We also study about the texture of the brain. It feels soft and squishy and has many folds and creases. Now st students, uh, please I start your first your today's topic which is brain and its parts i'm started from the brain the human brain is the control center of the body it controls all of our activities it is located inside the head at the top of the spinal cord and is protected by the skull ہیومن برین ہماری باڈی کا کنٹرول سینٹر ہے اور یہ باڈی کی تمام ایکٹیویٹیز کو کنٹرول کرتا ہے یہ ہیڈ ہیڈ کے اندر ہوتا ہے اور اسپائنل کارڈ کے بالکل ٹاپ پہ ہوتا ہے اینڈ اٹ از پروٹیکٹڈ بائی دا اسکل یہ اسکل سے پروٹیکشن لیتا ہے اسکل مینس کھوپڑی ویئر اٹ از لوکیٹیڈ it is located inside the head the human body is made up of trillions of cells the cells of the nervous system are called nerve cells or neurons about 100 billion nerve cells make up the brain all the nerve cells are linked together to control all of the body's activities. Human body ka jo brain hai, wo made up, human body jo hai, wo trillion cell se mil kar bani hai. Aur hamara jo nervous system hai, wo bhi nerve cells, neurons se mil kar bana hai. Aur hundred billion nerve cells mil kar hamara kya bana rahe hai? Brain. Aur ye nerve cells aapas mein لنکڈ ہوتے ہیں اور یہ تمام باڈی کی ایکٹیویٹیز کو کنٹرول کرتے ہیں برین نیڈس اے کنٹینیوس سپلائی آف آکسیجن دا برین نیڈس اے کنٹینیوس سپلائی آف آکسیجن اٹ آلسو ریکوائرس فوڈ اینڈ انف سلیپ ٹو فنکشن پراپرلی برین کو آکسیجن کی سپلائی کی مسلسل ضرورت ہوتی ہے اینڈ اٹ آلسو ریکوائرس فوڈ اینڈ انف سلیپ ٹو فنکشن پراپرلی بیکاز اٹ از دا کنٹرول سینٹر اینڈ سینڈنگ دا میسجز اینڈ اٹ ورک کنٹینیوسلی ود آؤٹ اینی ریسٹ سو اٹ نیڈس آکسیجن اینڈ فوڈ سپلائی مسٹ Look at it is your brain it is your brain 
I show you the picture. Now I discuss you some information which is the average human brain weight 1200 to 1400 grams. Now students, how many parts of the brain? The human brain is divided into three main parts. The first part is cerebrum. The second part is cerebellum. And the third part is medulla or brain stem. I repeat these parts. Cerebrum, cerebellum, medulla or brain stem. Student, I show you the model of the brain. If you look at the picture, you can see that the brain have many fine layers or creases. These layers are called creases or fold. And you can also see this. The brain has two divided into two parts. The first part and the second part. The right side said right cerebrum and the left side said left cerebrum. If I divided or cut the brain into two parts, you can see that it looked like that. You can see here the pinkish area of the brain is called medulla. It is stem like structure. It is called medulla. And below the cerebrum and above the medulla, this part is called cerebellum. Cerebellum. Now we can start the details of this part one by one. Look at page 3. The second paragraph shows the cerebrum is the largest part of the brain. It is divided vertically into two halves. The right half of the cerebrum controls the left side of the body and the left half of the cerebrum controls the right side of the body. It means that जो हमारा cerebrum है वो brain का largest part है इसको vertically दो हिस्सों में divide किया जाता है right side cerebrum control करता है left side of the body को and left side cerebrum control करता है right side of the body को scientists only discovered this when they found that people who had injured one side of the brain lost controls of the part on the opposite side ये बात scientists ने तब discovered थी जब लोग अपने brain के राइट right साइड को उन्होंने खो दिया तो जो ऑपोजिट साइड था उसके बॉडी पार्ट्स का कंट्रोल भी लॉस हो गया इट मींस दैट कंट्रोल ऑफ द राइट साइड ऑफ द बॉडी मस्ट बी लॉस्ड व्हेन द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द सेरिब्रम इंजर्ड नाउ स्टूडेंट आई विल डिस्कस the function of cerebrum you can see that the cerebrum is at the top of the of your brain the cerebrum controls the voluntary actions voluntary actions means aise actions jo aapke ikhtiyar mein hain like thinking feeling decision making reading listening seen and ability to differentiate between taste and smell it enables you to touch and feel the texture of things it 
also enables you to remember things. Now, the second part of medulla. The second part of brain is medulla. The lowest part of the brain is called the brain stem or medulla. You can see in the diagram. It controls involuntary actions. Involuntary actions, jo actions hamare ekhtiyar mein nahi, like breathing, digesting, and the beating of the heart muscles. When the rest of the brain goes to sleep. The medulla keeps working. Medulla हमारे control करता है involuntary actions को means सांस लेने के अमल को खुराक के निजाम के लिए और heart की beat के लिए heart muscles जो है उनकी beating के लिए और ये हर वक्त काम करता रहता है जब हमारी body test में होती है लेकिन ये medulla जो है वो इसके functions perform होते रहते हैं the next part is cerebellum. Cerebellum is located below the cerebrum and above the medulla. Its function is to control the balance and movements of the muscles and joints. Iske functions kya hai? Control karta hai humare muscles and joints ki movement ko aur humare balance ko. It helps you to run, walk jump and do many other physical activities which in which the muscles are involved i hope students it's enough for today thank you so much